Let's be honest, communication between government agencies is often tedious. The data is collected in various systems, which makes the exchange of information difficult. Consequently, bits of information about you rarely fit together. That is why we have to provide the same data over and over. With the help of new technologies, such as blockchain, we will be able to change this. As an example, let's have a look at a concrete case. Nearly one out of five Dutch households are struggling with debt. Often the government is unintentionally the cause of this mounting debt. Let's look at Alice. Alice has received a fine from the Central Judicial Collection Agency. If she doesn't pay the fine, it will increase. If Alice still doesn't pay, the CJIB will dispatch a bailiff, in which Alice will carry the costs. Most people that receive a fine from the CJIB will just pay, but a growing number who would like to pay simply cannot afford to. Unfortunately, Alice is one of these people, resulting in her fine increasing to 1,200 euros. Alice is in deep water, and the next fine will be due shortly. Now, are the government not aware of Alice's situation? They are indeed. The information about Alice's situation is scattered throughout various government agencies. However, they don't have permission to share this information as they must guarantee Alice's privacy. Whilst meanwhile, Alice is drowning in debt. The CJIB think that blockchain may be of help in the future so that the exchange of data between government agencies will take place in a secure and reliable manner. In order to develop a blockchain solution for Alice's case, a generic architecture is needed, which could be used by all government agencies, so Alice can use her information not just for the CJIB, but for other agencies as well. Subsequently, the CJIB will improve the security of the data by adding a zero-knowledge proof to the blockchain. A zero-knowledge proof is a method by which one party, Alice, can prove to another party, the CJIB, that a given statement is true, without conveying any information apart from the fact that the statement is indeed true. Next year, we will be building several prototypes with a number of partners in order to advance this idea. Together, we will set this up so that the government will contribute more to solving debt problems.